They're big, bright symbols of summer, protecting mariners from perilous coastlines and attracting tourists with stunning panoramas. But it turns out lighthouses can be even more. You might live by the water. You might even have a spiral staircase like this in your vacation home. But how many of you have something like this on the top floor? An actual working beacon. That's because I'm not just at the top of a house right now. I'm on top of a lighthouse. Sheila Consol thought this Lake Erie lighthouse was such a great escape, she bought it for about $71,000. That might sound like a steal, but this Cleveland area home has no heat or air conditioning. Electricity largely comes by generator, and Sheila says showers meant jumping in the lake for nine years before she could get running water. Once you found out you could own a lighthouse, at that point, did you need to own a lighthouse? No, and a lot of people ask me if I always loved lighthouses. I mean, I liked lighthouses, they were fine, but once I saw this, the historic opportunity there was to save it, what it could become, knowing that this was gonna be my front yard, then I was sold. So come on in. The nearly 100-year-old house has some quintessential historic lighthouse charm. Upstairs, serenity. Here we are, Lake County, Ohio. Sheila added some creature comforts too. Granite countertops, appliances, cabinets. This was all brought in by boat. That's because her front yard is in Ohio State Park. Running errands means a roughly 20 minute walk to her car each way. But the walk alone, a lot of people would look at this and be like, I don't have time for this. Yes, no, but once you get out there, there's 360 degrees of water. The views are unbelievable from the top. You add that to the intrigue and to the uniqueness. It's what I call the ultimate summer home. Intrigued? Well, good news. You can own a lighthouse too, thanks to the National Historic Lighthouse Preservation Act. With improved navigation technology available, the federal government publicly auctions off lighthouses. Robin Carnahan is administrator of the U.S. General Services Administration. The Coast Guard didn't need all of these lighthouses, but knew they were important for our communities and for our history. So we went historic house hunting with a twist. You thought walking the better part of 20 minutes to your lighthouse was tough? Try having to get there by boat. We hitched a ride with the U.S. Coast Guard into Cleveland's Harbor. That was the easy part. <laughs> I will stay on land. I will take the one on land. Another challenge, this lighthouse comes as is. Tough considering the Coast Guard doesn't focus on peeling paint. Our mission, unfortunately, isn't the preservation of historical aspects. It is the safety of the mariners, i.e. the light, the sound. But if you buy the lighthouse, you have to maintain it. Many of them are over 100 years old, so it's not like they're falling down, but they need some TLC. This lighthouse needs a lot of TLC. One of the first things you might want to do if you move in is take care of the spider webs. Still, picture perfect views with some curveballs. Scenery. Whoa, that's a big bug. Not intimidated? Right now, there are four lighthouses up for auction, including this one. With minimum bids ranging from ten dollars to $50,000, you can help history live on. Just like how Sheila Consul sees herself preserving a community icon. I am really a steward of this lighthouse. There's only so many lighthouses in the United States. And if people don't step up and take care of them, they're going to be gone. You heard it from Sheila. By the way, we're told some mariners still prefer old school methods over GPS. So if you buy one of those lighthouses, the Coast Guard gets to come inspect the light and the foghorn at least once a year. And because these are historic properties, there's a good chance you will have to follow preservation rules if you want to renovate. So don't just go rip out that kitchen quite yet and make sure, guys, you have some bug spray. Yeah. I do. <laughs> you are very probably not that, in but. your future. No, I am. I am. <laughs> I'm going to leave it to the the nautical folks. Yes. But it was pretty cool to be out there, and it's just gorgeous right on the oh, water. It's beautiful. Uh, Jesse Kirsch, the Mariner. I enjoyed that. <laughs> That was awesome. And man. a special thanks to your great. photographer. Dana well. Roker. Dana Those Roker. Terrific. Shots. Terrific. Um, by the way, Jesse, thank you. And you can catch more stories like this one on the Boost every weekday morning on the Today All Day channel on Peacock or your smart TV. Jesse, thanks again, man.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.